Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to Algebra 2. We're going to do a calculator lab with our TI-84 graphing calculator. And what we're going to do is we are going to use our graphing calculator to see if we solved an inequality correctly. So this is a way that you can, it, mostly as a check feature, okay? So um, if you're following along <clears throat> with a book, um, this is the McDougall Littell Algebra 2 book um, from 2004, page 48, but you don't have to follow that book to learn how to do this, how to use your graphing calculator to solve an inequality. All right, so first we turn it on. Boop, more fun with sound effects. Okay, next we're going to, I just want to clear that out. That's messy. Now we're going to go put our inequality into y equals. So the y equals button is right there. We press it. Well, I've got some stuff in there, so I'm going to clear out what's in there. And now I'm going to put in my inequality. And I'm going to do it in parentheses. So I start with the beginning parentheses. And my inequality is 3x. So I, this is 3. And then that button right there with the x, t, theta, n, if you press it, because of the setting, how it is in mode, it will come up with an x right now. So that's, what's, that's what it usually does. Okay, and then it is plus 2, 3x plus 2. And then it is, is greater than 4. So we're going to, you can find the greater than symbol under math or test, um, which is the second of math. See how it has painted on their test. But So I'm going to go to test just because there's less of them. And I'm going to go down to the greater than. I don't have to do so much scrolling. And I hit enter down here. And there it is. And I want to say that it's greater than negative 4. So here's the negative sign. And now 4. When do you use minus and when do you use negative? Um, usually it is negative if it's at the beginning of something. Like this is by itself on one side of the um, inequality. So, so it's at the beginning of that. So it is negative. When things are in the middle, like where that plus is, then you usually use the minus. And you can remember that because minus and middle both start with M. That's fun. Okay, so now we need a end parentheses, and we, need, and we can graph it. Now, when I did this earlier, I had a bad window. So you can hit graph, and if your, your window is good, that's fine. The easiest way to fix your window is this button that says zoom which makes me want to sing the song from the 70s. It'd go zoom, 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 zoom. And if you go to standard six, then that's usually a pretty good window. You can always start there and then mess with it. Okay. Wherever it is a zero, it is false. Wherever it is a one, it is true. So what this graph is saying is that the answer is X is greater. See how it's the greater side? side, the x is greater than um, negative 2. So the answer to our equation, if we look over here at the book, whoop, down here, it tells us that the answer is, that's not that one, it's this one up here, x is greater than negative 2. So this is really more of a checking feature because you can't tell if it's Great, greater, I guess you know from your equation if it's greater than or equal to or greater or less than or equal to. So it'll solve the equation for you doing this. So that's pretty useful. I don't usually do this though. This is not one of the features I use often, but maybe you will incorporate it more than I do and find it more useful than I do. But it's always like, oh yeah, there's some way to check your inequalities on the calculator. And then I do this lab and go, oh yeah, that's it. But um, just remember, zero is false, and that makes sense. Zero is, you know, nothing, so that's not the right answer. And wherever it's, it graphs it to be a one, see how it's one on the y-axis, then that's true. All right, so hopefully that's helpful. Have fun doing your homework or doing whatever you're doing with this. Math is great. See you next time.